All right, today we are going to be talking about character traits. And our learning target is I can describe the main character and write about one way we are alike. So I put the cover of the book on the screen. We'll be listening to the book, Harriet, You'll Drive Me Wild by Mem Fox. And then a picture of your worksheet for today, which is in your packet. So first, you're going to go listen to the story. And then you'll come back and we will go through together and look at some of the illustrations and talk about the character's actions. And we'll start brainstorming what you could write about. So you'll look at the link below, go listen to the story, and then come back. So, now that you've listened to the story, we are going to talk about character traits. Now, character traits describe the way a character looks, acts, or feels. And these character traits can describe the outside of a character and the inside of a character. So for the outside, for this picture, this illustration of the little girl, it says she has brown hair, she has dark eyes, striped shirt. It's things we see. It's our physical traits. So if we're thinking about Harriet, think about what she would look like or what you know about how she looks. On the inside, that's more like the character's thoughts, their words, their actions, their feelings. It's what we learn about the character based on what they say, what they do, what they think, and what they feel. And we use the illustrations a lot to help us when we're talking about character traits. So before we read the story, just looking at the cover, I can already see Harriet's a girl. Harriet has short hair. We know she is a dog. She looks like she's a little girl. But let's look at some of the illustrations and see what else we can learn about the character. So we know this character Harriet had a lot going on. Looking at just these pictures, we can see she seems like she's pretty noisy in the story. I see also that she's sharing with her dog, so she shares. She's silly. She's definitely busy. She's messy. She's clumsy, which means like she falls over and makes a mess. She's goofy. Now these are some things I noticed just looking at these pictures, just listening to the story. Now looking at these illustrations, these tell me a little bit more about her on the inside and her relationship with her mom. So when I said, saw these, I said, maybe she's sad or embarrassed in the story when she gets in trouble. She seems loving. She seems fun. I see that she's helpful and she's kind and thankful and sorry because we know she was being really, really silly and it got her into some trouble. And we can see, just looking at the illustrations, how she's feeling when she gets in trouble. She looks like she feels sorry, like she's disappointed in herself. And I can tell a lot about the mother from this story too. She did get frustrated, but she's very forgiving. She's very loving. They seem to have a very good relationship. So we, as readers, listen to what the characters say, we look at their decision-making, and we look at their, um, the, their faces and their body language to learn a little more about them as characters. So we took our list that just said that she's a girl with short hair, and we added all of these adjectives or describing words to talk about Harriet. And you might have 10 other adjectives. You might have thought of a lot of different things, and that's what I want to see. So your job on your worksheet at the top, it says write six words describing the main character. We know the main character's Harriet. So we just brainstormed a lot together. I want you to try to come up with other words, but you can use our ideas that we had on the screen to help you, to help get your gears moving. And in that little box in the middle, you'll draw a picture of Harriet. On the bottom, it says, write about one way you and Harriet are alike. 
So I put a sentence starter on the screen. It says, I am like Harriet because we both. And you'll think of one thing that's the same about you and the character. So maybe you are both really silly. Maybe you both need a hug when you have a hard time. Maybe you both can make a big mess. So for example, I said, I'm like Harriet because we both are silly and messy sometimes. You will write something different. So think of something that is the same about you and Harriet. It could be something that's the same on the inside, something that you do that is the same. You want to make a connection and see how you are similar to our main character. Think about how you respond when things don't go your way. Do you bury yourself in the covers? Do you throw a fit? Do you accept help and say thank you? So that's your job today. You already listened to the story. You're thinking of six or more character traits and then writing at least one way you and Harriet are alike. Enjoy the story. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Can't wait to see your writing. Have a fantastic Friday, my dears. See ya.